Look at that girl playing. Say, yeah, I told them you play the piano. Pencils was an abused baby, and I got her from a rescue organization. The family that had her prior to myself had punctured her lung, broken her legs, cut her ears. She does not normally like little children because it was at the hands of little children that she experienced such abuse. Hey. Yeah. Say, now I got on my ladybug dress. I'm a retired, nationally awarded educator from the city of Chicago. Prior to falling in love with Princess, I was very much in love with aiding other children. I was a fifth grade teacher on the west side, and most of my parents were 22 and 23, and they didn't know how to do a lot of the basic things that needed to be done for children. I kept teaching them, and then they said, you know, you're a mama, and they gave me the name Mama Hawk. I make her food fresh, fresh lamb, carrots, and sweet potatoes, and corn, and string beans. I don't give her anything that's dried up and sitting in the store. Stay. Uh oh, princess, what am I doing? I got you. I'm sorry. I made the mistake of defending some adults who got together under conspiracy and did some very defaming things to my reputation and my name. My career was terminated, and mentally, it, it just really did a lot to me because I knew it wasn't true, and I knew I had dedicated my life to saving other people. So I went into a shell of not wanting to be bothered with any human beings. Good job. Good job. I didn't interact with adults for a good maybe seven or eight years. Yeah. I'll do anything for animals, but I won't do anything for human beings anymore. I had several strokes and seizures. Princess became my service animal. Within 15 minutes of having a major stroke, she can let me know that I'm about to have a seizure and I can make all kinds of reasonable decisions that makes it safe for my life as well as the lives of others that I come in contact with. All right, princess, this is gorgeous color. Matches your dress. <laughs> this is royalty here. Not only is she a princess, she is the princess. Her name is Princess Zore. Zore means beautiful one in Africa. There's nobody in this room that's more valuable than Princess. She doesn't lie. She doesn't steal. She doesn't stab people in the back. She doesn't set people up. This is crazy. And this, is crazy. this is really crazy. This is really crazy. Ah, don't. This is crazy. <laughs> Ready to put this one on? Good job. This dress was a five-year-old flower girl dress. Even has the petticoat slip in the back. This was made from a Christmas skirt that you put them on a Christmas tree. Look at this beautiful bronze metallic leather. We have Christmas dresses, birthday dresses, Philly dresses, Thanksgiving dresses, her swimwear. Princess wears a minimum of five to eight outfits a day. Princess takes summer camp. Princess has had swimming lessons. Horseback riding, I think all of that is crazy. Mama, her clothes cannot be repeated because have you seen Queen Elizabeth in the same outfit twice? No. Not even the same hat twice? Nope. If Princess needs a white dress, then I just go to the white cubicle and everything I need, the ribbons, the bows, will be inside this one bag. Princess. Princess. Later on this evening, she'll put on a jogging suit or if we go out for dinner, she'll put on a skirt and blouse, depending on what we decide to do. Princess is a dog, and she's defined by Webster as a dog, so she's still a dog to me. But at this point in my mom's life, Princess is her joy. Princess communicates with me just like you communicate with me. She doesn't speak a language you understand. She speaks a language I understand. It's a secret code royal language. You didn't hear her, though. She wasn't talking to you. My princess. See? I grew up in this house, and I told my mother, I need a place to live. I couldn't come sleep in any corner of this house, because everywhere it is princess poop, princess everywhere. I have no place. Nobody can live in the palace unless they're royalty. But I will help her pay rent where she going. <laughs> but she can't come up in here. God forbid I intrude on princess territory.
I mean, I don't want to share bed with princes. Princess has a will, and I have her own executor of her will. And with her will comes her own money. The lady in New York gave me the best idea. She left all that money to that cat. I said, that lady was smart. Ask her, how did she come out the birth canal? How about that? That's not my sister. Uh -uh. <laughs> so it ain't no rivalry, because she didn't birth that royal dog. That ain't funny. <laughs> what is you saying? Go on. <laughs> I, I like the colors to be loud. We try to do them by the season. We very seldom get rid of anything that's red, white, and blue. When she wears these coats, she wears rhinestone jewelry. I make about 25 outfits every day. They make some dresses for animals for $3,000 because they have the bling bling. But $3,000 for one dress and princess changes five times a day and then she doesn't wear it again. That's a little much for me. All the pieces of clothing that I buy won't come to 300 in a year. This was a negligee for somebody, and we took it and made her a beautiful dress. Whole project, less than $2. And this was made from a curtain. The little tutu ballerina dress, 33 cents. Princess makes a lot of decisions about these clothes. If they don't fit the way she likes them to fit, she does all kinds of little tricks until I take them off. These are Princess panty and bra set. She has a dress that matches this. It has the rhinestone doggy bow on it. She cannot stand the shoes, she cannot stand the hats, and she cannot stand the wigs. But because she's royalty, and she knows she has an image to keep up, she does understand that beauty is painful, and she will do it for me. Princess won't talk back or any of the things that other real people do. So Princess is just a 100% total companion because she doesn't disappoint. Dogs we trust and all others must pay their own way through life. My dog, the way that I love you, he never makes me blue like the way that you do. And he loves me too. You know my dog don't shout, he doesn't misconstrue You know her blue, like what comes out of you No making the blue Hit me I said my dog don't lie, you know he's no bar fly I'm here to clarify, he's no passerby so what's that signify? He never tries to stray. I said he's here to stay until that fateful day. I know he won't betray. Woof, woof.